Hello, hello. Today we're going to read this book, Hank the Pet Sitter. It's a series of books, and the book that we're going to read about Hank today is Elmer the Very Sneaky Sheep. Chapter One, The New Kid. It was summer, and Hank was bored. His bike was still broken. His friends were still gone. Only Janie was home. Janie was bossy. Janie was annoying. Janie was right there again. Hank hoped he'd get a new pet to sit. Soon, he plopped in the dirt and dug for worms. Worms are good for the soil, you know, said Janie. Don't you have a lawn to mow? asked Hank. If worms don't have food, water, and the right temperature, they live, said Janie. You don't have food or water, said Hank. Why don't you live? said Janie. Oi, this Hank is a little bit rude. Hi, said a kid. Hank had never seen him before. Do you know where Hank lives? Who's asking? Janie pulled a camera from her purse and snapped the kid's picture. You can be too careful, you know. Don't mind her, said, said Hank. I am Hank. Great, said the kid. I hear you pet sit. Yes, said Hank. The kid kicked the dirt. I'm Tommy. We just moved in. Our sheep sometimes escapes. Can he stay in your garage? It's just for tonight. How does he get out? Asked Hank. Tommy Green. He opens doors. Hank's eyes bulge. But he'll be fine, said Tommy. Our goat? And dog won't be here to egg him on, said Janie. I don't like the sound of that. Who asked you, said Hank. I guess it's okay. Great, said Tommy. I'll be right back. Let's see what is going to happen. Chapter two, meet Elmer. Tommy returned, pulling a wagon, bringing with hay. Behind him trot a fat sheep. This is Elmer. Hi, said Hank. Bah, said Elmer. He likes to lie on fluffy pine shavings, said Tommy. And here's some hay and clover, in case you don't want him eating your yard. He'll follow you for fruit or animal crackers. Yum, said Hank. Bah, said Elmer. See you tomorrow, said Tommy. Then maybe you can come over and swim. We have a pond. Cool, said Hank. Tommy turned to go, and Elmer's house broke in. So don't worry if he shows up inside. Bye, inside? What had Han gotten himself into? Chapter three, back to bed. That night, Hank snuggled under his bed covers. It sure was weird having a sheep in the garage. The house was dark. The house was quiet, except for that clump, clump. Was it a bulgur? Was it a ghost? Hank scooted down lower. He pulled the covers over his head. Bah, said Elmer. Hank peeked out. Elmer, go back to bed. Bah, said Elmer. He was so close, they could touch noses. Hank bribed him to the garage with a banana. 
he flopped his shavings just the way you like it. When Hap Han got under his covers again, he nodded right off. Bah, said Elmer. Don't you sleep, asked Hank. How about a bedtime story? Then back to bed. I mean it. Hank read about the big bad wolf. Elmer just stood there. Too scary, asked Hank. How about some water? Then back to bed, Elmer. Hank poured water for Elmer. He poured hot cocoa for himself with four marshmallows. Elmer sniffed the air. He knows Hank's mug. Crash! Cocoa splatter all over. Oh no! My goodness gracious. Hank called his mom. I'm okay, Hank answered. Oh, oh, said Hank. Chocolate dripped from everywhere. Elmer's coat was gooey with marshmallow. How about a nice bath, whispered Hank. Then back to bed, Elmer. Hank young. <gasps> Oh, he ran Elmer a bubble bath. He used lots of bubbles. Oh, oh, said Hank. Did you let your friends in? Oh, my goodness, who is there? Is that a goat? A dog splashed thoughts everywhere. A goat nibbled toilet paper. What would his mom do if she saw this? Let's clean up this mess, whispered Hank. Then back to bed. Bah, said Elmer. Chapter four. Hank dried Elmer with his mom's hair dryer. Elmer got so big, he looked inflated. What would Tommy say? Janie poked her head in the window. What's all the noise? My parents said I could investigate. Elmer is too puffy, said Hank. I don't think he'll fit through the door. I'll be right in, said Janie. She pulled scrunchies from her purse. He looks adorable in pig tails. Oh my goodness gracious, what she's doing? Hank shook his head. He looks ridiculous and he's still, he still won't fit. Go home. I have an idea. When Janie left, Hank aimed the goat at Elmer uh, and gave him a notch. But the goat spotted Hank's mom's robe on a hook. He nibbled the belt. Oh my gosh. Oh no, said Hank. He ran to the kitchen for animal crackers. Back to bed, everybody said. He dropped the animal crackers one by one, leading them all out to the garage. Hank blocked Elmer's shavings. Then he tiptoed back to bed and closed his eyes. But it was too quiet. Hank couldn't sleep. He snuck to the garage and curled up in the straw. The dog perched on Hank's feet. The goat chewed in his sleep. Elmer snuggled close. Oh my gosh, they are all sleeping together. Bah, said Elmer. But Hank didn't hear him. He was fast asleep. When Tommy came the next day, Hank wasn't in his yard. He wasn't in his kitchen. He wasn't in his room. Elmer called Tommy. He tiptoed into the garage. Janie twisted Elmer's coat into sparkled clips. The goat nibbled Elmer's hay. The dog flapped from the rafters and Hank snore in his sleep. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Awesome, Hank, said Tommy. They sure like you. 
come over when you wake up. He slipped money in Hank's jar. Then he led Elmer and his friends back home. I hope you like this book. I'll see you tomorrow and we'll read another adventure of Hank. Uh, pet sitting more friends, okay? See you tomorrow.